Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing the first unboxing of 2020. I just posted my best luxury purchases of 2019 and I kind of admitted that 2019 was a little crazy. So just a quick disclaimer, um, yeah, I think 2020, I won't be posting as many unboxings. Kind of want to change it up and I have some ideas that I plan on doing for this year. Uh, mostly focusing on my current collection. I have a lot of older pieces that I don't see a lot on YouTube and so I have I think I have some kind of creative ideas that I plan on filming. I just wanted to welcome back everyone who subscribed. I had a lot of new subscribers um, that started following me over the holiday break and I think a large part of that was due to my I had posted a kind of a massive what I got for Christmas video so welcome back if you are a returning subscriber and welcome if you're new. When I saw this collection, I initially, I almost immediately was like, no, <laughs> who asked for this? I'm not really feeling it. I mentioned how the reverse monogram, I initially just didn't like it at first and then it kind of grew on me and I tried it on and I said, okay, yeah, I like it now. <laughs> when I saw the pictures of this collection, I was like, no, it's crazy. It conjured up, you know, people were posting memes of Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake at the, uh, uh, the I, th I thought it was the VMAs, but I guess it was the American Music Awards. And at this point, it's 2020. That was in 2001. So it was almost 20 years ago, which is so hard to believe. But that's what makes it so funny is that, you know, people say this is really trendy. But, you know, trends come and go. I'm talking about the denim collection, <laughs> which I'll post pictures I have online, but also I'll post the pictures of the ones that I saw in store. So anyway, I was gonna pass on this collection entirely, but then I just wanted to check it out in store. So I went in store and I was like, oh my gosh, I really, <laughs> I really like it. So I got something and here it is. So I will unbox it for you now. Okay, so it's not quite an unboxing because I've already removed it from the box and I just kind of put this back here just for the background. But you can probably tell what it is from here. And also I, I have a feeling I'll put it in the, th in the uh, thumbnail, but it's this right here, this is the dust bag and ah! <laughs> I got the Denim Patchwork Neverfull. And this is from their newest collection that launched January 1st. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. This elicited strong reactions from many people. And I, just from the majority of, of people that I kind of polled in person, you know, my friends, and then just from what I was reading online, a lot of people hate this collection, like hate, not even dislike, but they just abhor it. They hate it. Some people don't like the patchwork, but whatever. I think it's so cute. I love that how unique it is. Um, I love denim. Also, I love the inside of the bag. So it's kind of just like with jeans, it's that kind of washed denim interior. It comes with a little pochette. So there were a lot of items that came in this collection. I didn't see all of them because I went to two stores and they didn't have every single item. They had a city pouch and I was thinking of just getting that originally because I really, I just love the size wristlet. I just, I love this size. I think it's a perfect kind of, you know, a little clutch. It fits, but most importantly, it fits your phone and then just kind of your essential. As much as I love the mini pochette for organizing things and, you know, kind of being a catch-all in your purse, I keep cosmetics in here. I've shown this a few times. Um, this doesn't fit my phone. I have the iPhone 10, 10 Max and it doesn't fit the, my phone. It fits my keys, it fits other things, but if I can't put my phone in here, I mean, what good is it to me <laughs> as a clutch on its own? So I would always have to carry something else with it or just have my phone, you know, separate, which I, I hate doing that. So I could never wear this just on its own, um, but this size is perfect. I wanted something in this pattern, in this print, but the Neverfull isn't my favorite, favorite bag. I don't love the straps. It's just, they drive me crazy, kind of, they are, you know, if you weigh it down, it's it hurts your shoulders. This is the only other Neverfull I have in the same size. Neverfull MM in the new denim. This is my custom My World Tour Neverfull, also in the MM. And, you know, the straps are softening up, which is fine, but, you know, it's a, it's just a tote bag. I love crossbodies. Check out my best purchases of 2019. Pretty much all the bags I included were crossbody bags. So I use this for work but it's just not my favorite shoulder strap style. So I wasn't going to get the Neverfull at first. I liked the multi pochette. The denim bags that were that they made were the denim Neverfull. They had the denim multi pochette, the denim on the go. 
a speedy bandolier. I don't know what size. I didn't see that in person. The only ones I saw in person were the Neverfull and the multi pochette and the on the go tote. I think I saw an Alma BB in the denim online, but then they also made a city pouch. So the city pouch, and I'll include pictures. I saw it in store. It, this, this is actually bigger than the city pouch. The city pouch I think was like up to here and then maybe it was a little wider. So it was, it was more square shaped than this is kind of rectangular shaped. Look how cute. So this is the pouch for the Neverfull. It's the same as my, this is the pouch of my custom, my world tour, uh, Neverfull. Slip pocket on the inside and the same lining as the Neverfull. I use this a lot in my Neverfull and even if I'm not using my Neverfull, I pull it out, this pouch, and I use it in other bags. So I was eyeing just the wrist or just the city pouch um, and the denim and it was, it retailed for, for eight seventy, and I was like, mm, I don't really need it. So if I don't need it, I didn't want to spend that much. <laughs> Here's my thinking. So what I love about the Neverfull is that it's two in one. So you have the tote bag, which I will definitely use and the pouch, the wristlet pouch. So this is like you're getting two bags for the price of one relatively more expensive tote bag. I just decided to go for it. <laughs> so I got it. So anyway, here's a, let me do some close-ups. So there it is. It's a patchwork kind of craziness, all in different color denim. I like that even, I just even noticed this has kind of like the white highlights, you know? So there, and maybe even the shadow. So it gives it a little bit of a 3D effect. Um, it doesn't, here's the bottom. So this is kind of maybe the one thing that would concern me. Obviously, you know, the Neverfull doesn't come with feet on the bottom, but I would have loved for this to have feet because again, this is denim, it's fabric. So I fully, and I, I have a video coming up where I show how to protect your LV bags. So they advise you not to treat your LV bags with anything, but I would hate for this to get dirty and it's denim, you know, there's some really light colored denim here. So I anticipate, I, I'm still thinking about it, but I, I think I'm going to spray everything with Scotchgard just to protect it, especially the bottom. Not that I, you know, I rarely put my bags on the ground if I can help it, but just in case. So yeah, I'm probably going to spray it and treat it with Scotchgard so I can do a video about that. If you're interested but I just look how cute the interior is I don't know it has the Louis Vuitton in script written there even the I just noticed this on the side they have such cute detailing because I don't know if you can pick that up see how it's dark right there <laughs> I mean I don't know maybe that wasn't intentional but it looks like you know with denim you get kind of darker spots so yeah and then again here's the pouch so you can use this as a wristlet. I love that it's red here. Here's the interior. Same with, you know, just like with denim, you can even see the, the lines. That is just, I just love this. I don't know. I love it. It's different. It's unique. You know, if you hate it, it's okay. Not everybody has to like every bag, but I really love this bag. I love the denim. I love denim and I am going to show you another reason I got this. If you're really familiar with Louis Vuitton, they came out with a denim collection in uh, 2004, 2005 ish. So I have some stuff, which I've This is the denim mini pleaty. So here, you know, the different, you know, it's different. So it was the same monogram print, but with denim. And this even feels like jeans, you know, denim material. This is a lot kind of softer. Um, so it's kind of like, it's just a denim effect you know, with the patchwork. It's not actually patchwork. This is just kind of one material. So I guess it's just printed or dyed. I'm not sure, but it's not actually you know, quilted patchwork here. But this, you can feel it's, this really feels like denim and you can feel that this, the printing is softer and it's kind of embossed. You know, you can feel it raised a little bit. Um, and then you can see it's kind of worn. I've seen some bags that were very worn. And so this kind of gets flattened the uh, print. Um, these aren't raised. The lining is a yellow suede. Did the same yellow suede on the insole of, of these denim mules. So there were other bags that had red alligator trim. 
I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. I have matching denim shoes with red trim that would go with the red, <laughs> with the red trim of the Neverfull, but it actually doesn't quite, it doesn't quite match. This is brighter, like a cherry red. This is a little deeper, but you know, when you're wearing it, it from far away, it doesn't look too bad. You do see the yellow kind of peeking through and then this has the gold hardware. Um, okay, yeah, well this has gold hardware too. So yeah, it kind of goes with it. I'm gonna wear this together. <laughs> Either this or the pouch. So yeah, I think it still goes. It, it, it kind of complements each other. It doesn't match exactly. It's not the exact, it's not the exact same shade and the same trim. This is the alligator trim, but I just thought it was so cute. It just was kind of meant to be for me. If you have, if you have these shoes or any, you know, if you have anything from the previous denim collection, it kind of goes together. So that is the new denim never full. Oh, I also have, so this doesn't really go at all either. This is the denim monogram shawl, two-toned um, coloring. I mentioned this in my luxury Christmas presents video. I got a Gucci shawl that doesn't snag as easily. Um, this one does kind of snag, and so I haven't worn it as much, but I love that it's two-toned, see? So you have the dark denim on one side, and the other side is the lighter. So yeah, this is called denim. This really, mm, this doesn't really go either. <laughs> it's a, it, it, this actually kind of looks almost like an indigo compared to this. This looks more, this almost looks kind of purpley yeah, purpley indigo compared to the Neverfull. Denim keeps making a comeback. Some other people said this reminded them of 70s patchwork, like in the 70s patchwork jeans and you know, like a hippie era, which I guess maybe it is, I don't know. Um, but then that whole Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, that was 2001. So again, that was almost 20 years ago at this point. And then the denim, the Louis Vuitton denim collection from before, this was from 2005. So, you know, it's 2020. This is officially 15 years old, this bag. And the Justin Timberlake picture is 20 years old. And then you have the 70s patchwork stuff, which, wow, you know, when you think of this, there's that meme where it's like, when I think of the 70s, I think, oh, 30 years ago, but it's 2020. That was 50 years ago. Um, and here we are in 2020 with this patchwork. So I love it. I love the interior. I love the pouch. I love that it's two for one. <laughs> I love the script or kind of a cursive uh, print on the inner pocket. The new Neverfull doesn't have the script font. It's kind of that block print, which some people didn't like. Little details that I just, I don't know, I really like. I love that it's a lighter interior. And oh, and the other this thing. This is a bag organizer from Purse Bling. And what I love about this is it has a zipper at the top. So it's zipped, the sides kind of can fold in and out. It just matches perfectly with the red trim. So now it has a zip top and it even matches. So it's perfect for me. So I'll post the link below. It's the, it's called Purse Bling. I think it's called Extra Jumbo Purse Organizer with a zip top. But um, yeah, I just think it's great and it, it matches perfectly with the red. I hope you enjoyed that trip down memory lane with the picture of, uh, Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake in 2001, I guess. And then also the denim collection, the first denim collection, I would, I think, from Louis Vuitton in 2005. So this is the newest collection for 2020. Again, it's available in other style bags and the multi-pochette, which I thought was really cute. But if I hadn't already gotten the monogram multi-pochette, I, I think I would have gotten that one because it was so cute. And in the little, I, I think this looks a lot cuter in the smaller SLGs like this. So again, I was considering the city pouch, but I just said, why not? And just go for it. And so I went for the entire, the new Neverfull that comes with the little wrist pouch. I usually say, let me know your thoughts below. <laughs> again, I know some people do not like this new collection, but I personally love it. I love how unique it is. I love denim. I love blue. It really hits every category for me. I'm going to use both pieces. I will definitely use the pouch on its own. Let me know if you plan on getting this. Um, let me know if you hate it. It's okay. People hate bags. It's okay. Not everybody has to like everything, but I like this. So that is the new Denim Neverfull MM in the newest denim patchwork from Louis Vuitton. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this review. 
Um, I plan on doing a few more videos. I just got this today. I haven't worn it yet, but so I just wanted to share. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.